What's up, Garage people? This is part two. We are doing these two parts. Jet black. Here's the paint. High tech HFP 250 black. Mixes one to one. You can see it clearly. We will be using a medium reducer. The Impact High Performance Products IMP4375. And over the black base, we will be putting a red pearl. The red pearl is not here, it should be here in one day. So we'll go ahead and put the base on. Hopefully we don't get any reactions. But we'll put the base on, let that completely dry, then come back with our red pearl. Put that on with an inner coat base and then clear it. Okay, so these are the pearls I currently have. I got this carbon graphite pearl, the rainbow mini flake, and the lava red pearl. I was gonna go with this rainbow mini flake on the black base, but I don't think I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna probably go with this lava red pearl it almost looked pink. It looked red on the camera, but in person it looks pink. If I kind of hold it up to the light, it kind of looks pink. So, since it looks pink, I'm going to just do a... These are the handles that goes on the drawer. So I'm going to paint the handles. Well, I've already painted them black the black base I'm gonna do this pearl on these handles I was gonna do the pearl on the handles anyway but I'm gonna just do these as a test piece to see how it'll come out see if I like it which either way go I'm probably gonna use that anyway I'm not gonna sand that back down and I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna use this pearl but I at least I can kind of Put it on these and see okay that's how it's gonna come out i'm gonna be using this base coat binder 43593 i had it mixed at my uh, local paint store it mixes four to one i'll get it mixed up and show you guys what it looked like with the pearl in it okay this is the color guys 
That looks awfully pink to me. That looks pink. This lava red pearl, that looks pink. Maybe it's meant to go over a red base coat, but this is this will be going over a black base, so I don't know. We're gonna try it, screw it. I'll get back with you. I'm gonna be using my Mini X16 Atom. My Atom X Mini 16. HVLP 1.3 tip, smaller parts, smaller gun. Okay guys, so this is just two coats of that lava red and it's clearly pink. There's no way I can rock with that. So I turn the light on, that's clearly pink. Kind of ran a little bit, but this one got messed up because it fell. But still, that's pink. I can't put that on no man's paint cart. So yeah, we're gonna stop right there. We're gonna go with the carbon gray pearl. Yeah, yeah, so stay tuned for that one. Okay, we put one tablespoon in here. See, just one tablespoon of this stuff. And this is what it looks like. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Seems like that's good coverage. Pretty good. Let's put it in the gun and get going. gonna check out this clear here see uh, how this is it's the high solids you Paul two to one system UP 2822 and that's a medium uh, hardener UP 2325 I've seen pretty good reviews on it it's one of the cheaper budget clears I mean they have a four to one but that's really cheap this one's more of the high solids type but it's a gallon kit um, so yeah we're gonna see how much or I'm sorry see how this sprays see what it looks like I'll cut you back home 
Well, it doesn't have a yellow tint to it. It's pretty clear. Seems pretty thick. So, we'll get it in the gun. I've already tacked off the parts. Got the ventilation system set up. We'll get it in the gun and get going. I'll slow it down a little bit. all clear but clear looks good but first time using that clear I didn't know got a big sag there that's real big got a sag there and got another sag here so when this dries I'll have to get that out got a drip there I don't know if you can see it right there yep so once it completely dries I have to get those sags and runs out but it's three coats of clear so it should be okay but I mean it laid down good got a nice shine to it you can see the reflection everywhere yeah, it looks good. I have to wait till it completely dries. Give it a couple of days or so. That's a long sag. Laid it on too wet. I know next time. Don't go so slow and so heavy with it. All right, guys. It's the end of this one. Thanks for watching. This completes part two. I don't know if I'll do a part three on getting the sags out. I may just do it and then show the final product once it's all put back together. All right, guys. I'll see you. Please subscribe. Bye.